Last couple of days I haven't filmed. Yesterday, the day before I got a call that says, Oh, your snap card's here. I was like, oh, okay. A few minutes before five. There wasn't no way I could get there. So I was like, okay. Next day, which was yesterday, I went. Early in the morning, right? And um, I get there and my card was deactivated. And they're like, we don't know. Uh, okay. And then one lady was like, no, it's act I just activated it. I was like, ma'am, it's not activated. The card said deactivated. No, 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 no. She starts screaming, hollering at me and like, I've been homeless. I know what this is like. And nah, 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 you just blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this woman's crazy. Her name was Marie over there at uh, Human Resources. <laughs> Woo, crazy, crazy. Want to put her hands on me. I was like, no. I don't think so, honey bunny. No, that's not okay. She kept trying to touch me, and I was like, nope. It's deactivated. I have to wait now another 10 days to get that card. I, you can't make this up. Like, it's just the level of stupidity. It's Mississippi for you. These people are not bright. They don't care. My caseworker was like, oh, okay, like... And she was like, oh, it costs money to come here? Yes, it costs money to get on a bus, genius, and come over there. Just one way. One way was a dollar. Coming back is a dollar. 50 cents a ride. I had to change buses. Yeah, it costs money to come over there. It's pretty far. And I'm not staying. She was like, why don't you buy? No. That's where nothing, right over there, get this, where her, their freaking office is, is next to Broadway. Prostitution and drugs 101. Hell no, I ain't going over there. Have you lost your ever-loving mind? And she's like, oh, oh. And then yesterday, one of them guys I told you about, I keep hanging out over here and blah 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 I don't know nothing about Broadway I don't know nothing about no I don't know I don't go over bruh you don't have to go over there to know he's like I don't you're, you're trying to make me agree I was like dude I ain't trying to make you do shit this is common knowledge like a lot of people know what's good hell you can google it and it's been that a particular hotel shut down over prostitution and you gonna claim I don't know anything. Shady. His name is James. One of the James I know. You know, there's a few of them. This is an older guy, older black guy. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Uh, 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 liar. And I told him that to his face yesterday. Ooh, he blew up. You lied to me about what? Because someone, what? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Right. So go the hell on. These crackheads, they really think that... <sighs> and he stunk to high heavens, too. He has showers. He just won't bathe. It was awful. The stench was just... Ew. It was just sour. I was like, dude, no. I'm telling you right now. Push comes to shove. Even so, I'm homeless. Live outside. I will find a water source. Yeah, I will. I don't care. There's a river nearby. I was bathe in it. Mm hmm There really is. It's Leaf River. That's why the trail is called Leaf uh, Trace Walking Trail. Mm hmm So, if I have to go there, I'm going to do it. I won't smell like him. That's just gross. And he lives in a house. And he walks around, won't get a job, makes his wife pay the bills. Yeah. And over here harassing me. Bruh, oh, our water got shut up. Well, he'll go get a job. Yeah. You just don't want to work. You'd rather walk around, talk to people, than go get a job, make your wife pay for everything. Well, holler and scream at me yesterday. No. And my face is swollen. You can tell ant bites and... Like even on the eyelids, like, Jesus. It was so cold last night on the ground. Yep. 
and I dealt with another crackhead the day before. I, I don't understand what the, the end game for some of these people are. I really don't. I don't know. They keep threatening, especially the other guy the other night. Something's going to happen to you. Really? Who's going to make it happen? You? Bro, it's unsafe. You need to come to my house. I don't need to go to your house. You're a crackhead. How y'all got places to? I, I, what are y'all doing? Like, y'all don't have jobs. Y'all just riding around on your little bicycles all day, not doing shit. So you tell me how you got a whole fucking apartment. Please do. I'm waiting. I'm so fucking waiting. I, that mm. these people are ate up, ate up. And who was the the crackhead from the day before? Donald Hill is his name. Yeah, because he's like, here, come to Luigi's house. Who the fuck is Luigi? But I've heard his name before. I was like, don't add up here. Mm -hmm. walk over there with him because I know the area and I was like mm, apartments plenty of houses so it's not like they could just do something there mm -mm. you'd hear the screams and some girl answers the door she don't see me mm -mm. and she's talking about did you get my drug P what is P I figured it was drugs I was like mm. he come in he took his whole fucking bicycle in their little tiny apartment I was like what a retard. Why not just chain it up outside? It had a column. Use that. The, you're not living there, are you? Makes me think you are. See what I'm saying? Mm. Makes me think you're just staying there. Because you brought your whole damn bicycle in there. Uh -huh. And so Luigi supposedly worked with Fieldhouse, an organization around here. And I've been told by somebody else, Fieldhouse is just scamming people. Mm. Yeah, this is what I've been told. Like, hell, I don't know. But a lot of time when somebody starts saying, mm -mm, don't go there, don't do that. There's a reason. That's just like I was sitting there um, at the food stamp off a of snap, right? And there was some ladies in front of me, and even they're like, these people don't help. They don't do anything. Um, they don't care. Like, like I told them, like, their heart's got to change. They can't, they're not rich people, but at the same time, they've had it so well made. They don't know what it means to sleep on the ground. They don't know what it means to have swollen feet and shoes that are awful. They have no idea. And then they're just like, oh, you're not going to eat for, I don't know, another two weeks. Who gives a shit? <laughs> See you later. That's how they treated me yesterday. It's been going on a month. Not just since I got here, but a month. I didn't have anything to eat before I got here. It was very severe. So I'm just like, oh, oh okay. Hmm. You know, what do I do? Like, but like them, that one girl is in tears. She wants to be a lawyer. I think she could do it. I believe, you know, I really do. She's so smart. I believe. And the other lady's like, they always act like this. They just don't care. They've never had a walk in your shoes, therefore they don't know. So, I don't know. And that Marie lady, before you're like, well, blah, blah. She said some very questionable things in that room where she was putting her hands on me. So, she's like, I help Mexicans. They can't even speak English. And blah, blah, blah. And I was like. I told the, what is her name, Simpson? Is that that caseworker that just said, I don't give a shit. Your stuff is deactivated, basically. That's pretty much what she said. And just looked at me like, it costs money to come over here? Yes, dummy, it does. Like, where, where's the free train? There is none. It costs money. She was just like, 
deer in headlights. Like, I've never lived outside of a subdivision. I don't know what's going on. I drive my Toyota. I can't believe this. You see how I work in the hood? That's the look she had on her face. It was crazy. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah. 